Good morning, Panthers! Today is Thursday, August 22nd. I'm Miss Gilmore. And I'm Mrs. Kelly. And, and here, here are your morning morning announcements. <laughs> First things first, clubs. If you would like to form a club and meet up with other students who share similar interests or hobbies with you, then pick up an application form from student leadership in room six or the information rack in front of the office. Good to know. Last year, we had over 20 clubs. There was Glee Club, Book Club, Running Club, GSA, Star Wars Club, and more. Our spirit rally is coming up soon, so that means we need this year's spirit squad when you join Spirit Squad, you get to learn chants and dances to perform at rallies and other events. Sign-ups are all this week during lunch. On August 27th, we have Picture Day, which is Monday, so remember to dress nice. Back to School Night is coming up too. It's August 29th, which is next Wednesday, parents only. And the day after that, we have our first Spirit Rally. We have a quick video to show you on merits. Good morning, Arden Panthers. This is your interim principal, Ms. McManigal. And Mrs. Jacoby, interim administrator. And we're here to talk to you about the merit system at Arden Middle School. In your student planner, page six at the top is information about the merit system. And every student, you start the quarter with 100 merits and to be eligible to participate in extracurricular activities you have to have 90 merits before that event occurs. So what are those special events? Dances, web socials, skate night, global and end of the year activities. So how do I lose merits and how do I earn them back? Great question. So students lose one merit every time they're tardy to class. Um, so if you're tardy twice in a day to two different classes, you've lost two merits already. Ouch. Yes, they, those add up quickly. Um, lunch detention, if you're assigned lunch detention, you lose one merit. If you're assigned community service, which is one hour after school, you're, you lose two merits. If you cut a class, you lose two merits. And if um, you were ever suspended, you lose three merits per day of suspension. So of course we hope these things never happen and that everyone is able to attend all of our events each quarter by keeping their merits at 90 or higher. Um, you also asked how students can earn back their merits. So it's a good idea to always be aware of how many merits you have. So checking them regularly, we post them outside in the patio by the office, and you can also come to the office to check your merits um, before or after school or at lunch, never during class time. And if you see that you've slipped to 89 merits and there's an upcoming dance in a couple of weeks and so you'd like to earn two merits, you can volunteer for community service by talking to Ms. Jacoby or to myself or to the front office staff um, each time you volunteer for community service, you earn back two merits and you can perform community service twice a quarter to earn back a total of four. So it is important to get on the list as soon as possible. Sometimes right before a dance, people come in hoping to sign <coughs> up for community service, but we don't have any space available at community service. So it's a good idea to always know how many merits you have and to be checking regularly. And of course, the safest thing to do is not to lose merits in the first place um, by attending class on time and being following our school-wide expectations. Okay, Panthers, if you have any questions, you know where to find us. See have you later. Great, have a great day. We're back. Here are a couple reminders for you. First, remember to be in your seats before the bell rings or you'll be counted tardy. Students must remember to walk bikes and scooters while on the asphalt and to always wear helmets. Also, the hallways don't open until 7.35, so don't get here earlier because there will be no adult supervision. Have, have a great, great day, Panthers. Panthers.